know, guys, finally, Ghana 2, Mali 1. I predicted this online in one of my videos. And finally, we have done a comeback. This is my first time seeing the Black Stars of Ghana do a comeback. Today, we showed a lot of resilience and we showed that, yes, we can do it. Guys, let's check out some of the goals that were scored during the game because it's important that we celebrate our players. Ernest Nyama scoring the goal for the Black Stars. Jordan Ayu. Jordan Ayu has redeemed himself. I said it. I always said it that Jordan Ayu. People were like, and I said, and I said, Jordan Ayu. He has redeemed himself, my guy. Jordan Ayu scoring that goal, it made my day as simple as that. When I saw Jordan Ayu score that goal, it made my day. Coming from the bench and making such a huge impact. That was so good. At this point, I don't want to talk about any statistics or analytics or anything concerning tactics. I'm just happy. I'm happy we have been able to get all full three points against Mali. This moves us up on the table. It is good for us. This is good advantage to us. We need to move away from this, be excited, and work on our next game as simple as that. So, guys, you can see some of the goals on the screen. And honestly, the Black Stars really, really surprised me because honestly, the first time was very bad i won the first half and i mean a lot of people were angry with the way we played in the first half we were more defensive it was like that was the old black stars but suddenly in the second half we changed we started playing very well and honestly comparing otto Abbe and chris Utin talent otto Abbe really surprised me in the second half he showed me that he has improved as a coach technically and tacti tacti tactically he, he killed it in the second half for me that was the best the Black Stars have played in their last 10 games. That second half performance, that was very good from the Black Stars. In fact, today Thomas Pate had a glorious chance where he missed. And yet Jordan I will go now, like by this time, would be on the next of Thomas Pate. But then, regardless of that fact, trust me, Ghanaians are happy. You are going to take a look at the reactions from Ghanaians, what Ghanaians are saying about this particular football match. Because this is the first time in my life I have seen the Black Stars of Ghana do a comeback. We usually don't see this, so we are excited. And I can't stop talking non-stop. Like, I'm just so excited for the Black Stars for reaching this feat, getting full three points against Mali. We need to do the same thing against Central African Republic. With this result, if you don't go to Baba Yaraspo Stadium, there's something is wrong with you. With this result, every Ghanaian needs to step out. We need to go in and support the Black Stars. These players have shown to us that, yes, they are willing to sacrifice for the badge. They are willing to play and win the game. They want to go to the World Cup. We want to go to the World Cup. We don't want someone in Canada telling us that PhD is no better than a Canadian visa. No. We also want to go to the Canada and see what they are talking about. So the Black Stars are making sure that Ghanaians get that visa to USA, to Canada, to Mexico. And today, the performance, I mean, it was so nice. I don't want to come and talk about, and this player was supposed to stand here 4 4 2. No. We are won the game. We need to be excited. Enough of all those tactics and uh, no. Enjoy. But, guys, who was your man of the match? Who was your man of the match? Question of the day. Who was your man of the match? Honestly, it was two players for me. Two players were my man of the match. One, Atizigi, and two, Jordan, are you coming from the bench? You see, it's not easy for a player to come off the bench and impact games. You need to study the game from the bench before you come in. And that is what Jordan Ayu did. He showed that he has the experience. And this is Jordan Ayu redeeming himself. When Jordan Ayu was in the squad, they said, oh, his brother is gone. He should follow his brother. But guess what? He's the one doing the job now. He is the one redeeming himself. He's writing his story again. For, for Lawrence Atiziki, the first star, he last saves. Good saves from uh, Lawrence Atiziki. The goal he, he considered was a deflection. Aside that, all the sales he did today, he was on top. And to me, from now, Atizigi is our number one goalkeeper. I don't want to hear anything. That argument is done. We have stamped on it. We have closed. Atizigi, number one goalkeeper. As simple as that. But guys, let's hear from Ghanaians. Ghanaians are excited. Ghanaians want to share their opinion. Let's see what Ghanaians are saying. Let's check it out together. No, so I can take over. Um, let me quickly add strength to time. But... I think the, the, the guys have given a very good breakdown of the game. I'm I'm really, really impressed. And you see, sometimes when you are going through such a very difficult period, you need some of these wins to, to bring belief back into the group. We've seen how very poor the Black Stars were in in crucial spells at the at the World Cup at the AFCON, where it seems to have been or seemed to have been going good, seemed to have been going well, and all of a sudden, in a couple of minutes, 
everything just collapses. And coach alluded to it before the game in the in the preview that we consider coach was it seven goals in in thirty minutes, thirty minutes at the at the World Cup. Similar thing happened at the Afcon. Um, loss of concentration just when it seems that it's going well for us, and everything just crumbles. When there's so much lack of belief and the 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 morale in the camp is down, you need some of these wins to uh, bring belief back. At least when you are doing the right things, you need some of these things to 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 bring belief back. And I'm I'm really glad that the team got the result they deserved because I think a, a draw would have been very unfair to Ghana. Um, it was a very disciplined performance. In fact, if you go back to the first half, the goal uh, they conceded uh, quite unfortunate. Obviously, um, I don't even know. I, th- I think we'll go down as an own goal. I think to go down as an own goal, the goal we considered in the... He's the same player. He's the same player. Okay. Uh, wicked deflection anyway. And then the, the, the ball ended up in the back of the net. But this is a question I want to throw to everybody. When was the last time you saw Ghana go away against a top team in Africa, a goal down, and have the belief and tactical discipline to not just get the result, but play very good football and efficient football away from home? So... I was really, really delighted. And of course, the icing on the cake for me is Jordan, are you coming on? Not just scoring the goal, but playing such an integral role. And this was something we were discussing at halftime and how much we needed somebody up top who could hold that play. Because you had very good runners off the ball, but it was very difficult for us to maintain possession. So you would notice that in the first half, when the ball went up, up top, and I think coach has alluded to it already, Semenyon will automatically have to take on one or two players before going for goal. Um, that's because of his his, uh, his uh, not necessarily inability, but shortcomings when it comes to um, holding a play up top, and that will mean that because of his isolation, by the time Kudus and and, and Nyama arrive, that the possession has already been lost. So we needed that, especially in the at the time when uh, uh, Otuado brought on Jordan Ayu, because you need to be very tidy, one one away from home. In as much as you want to win, you also don't want to take too much risk um, that will, will eventually see you losing the game. So it was very, very important for us to be tidy but efficient. And um, look, if you look at the, the party chance we had at the tail end of the game, it would have been very painful if the Black Stars didn't get the win. So I was delighted that they were able to get it. And of course, as, as I said, for Jordan to get the winner, uh, very, very uh, excited for him and for myself. And then... Um, <laughs> Also, it's a hack. I think coach, coach, coach said it, and it's something we need to hammer on. You see, sometimes you need to force the issue. Sometimes you need to force the issue. He came on, he had no business chasing, pressing that runner. You see most of the time players retreating, inviting pressure, hoping that defensive players will do their job. But he was proactive to the situation. Tracked the runner, won the ball. And it's, just, it's not just about winning the ball. The run he took, take it back to Isha Haku a year or two ago. He'll probably shoot or rush the decision. But he had the calmness to cut it back for Jordan. He missed the first chance. Second rebound fell to him and he and he scored. So it's just showing that it's, it's not just about the coaching that is improving and the fact that we need to back the man and give support to the team. But individual players are also growing. And um, look, the sky is the limit for this team. You, you might think I'm talking too much, but I really believe that we are going in the right direction. And this win away against Mali in a game where most people thought we'll lose, it's a, 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 <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's, it's a real boost. It's a real boost. But as Coach has said, look, it's, it's just three points. Um, gives us an advantage, obviously, on paper against our biggest rivals in the group, which is Mali. But there's still a job to be done on Monday. We can't rest on our laurels. We have to finish this international window with maximum points. Once you've gone away to Bamako to win, there, there's no excuse if you come to Kumase the home of football in this country against Central African Republic and not win. Even a, a very poor Black Star squad beat Central African Republic just a couple of months ago. So with the, the confidence boost that they will get ahead of this game, I, I, I really expect them not just to beat Central African Republic, but now also to give the sort of performance that will inspire the fans to continue to support. That, that positive attacking football that Otuado promised that. You don't, you don't expect him to go out in this game against Mali and completely dominate them. That is a very difficult position to face. But when you are facing a team like Central African Republic at home, then we should start seeing some of the promises that he made us at that pressure. The attacking, and most importantly, um, the result, the result to match. So, uh, all in all, I am, I am very, very delighted. And um, what we'll do is I'll open up the mic 
now for um a couple of other speakers to get on and and share their their opinions let's go yo yo can you hear me take us away yeah we can hear you we can hear you loud and clear yes i was i was so confident the whole of this week that we're going to win this game and obama obama didn't believe that yes look before the game i told you that if we were to look at our form and everything then there was no need for us to honor this game i also said that if the blasters want to play if the blasters want to play they do well and play very well and that's exactly what we saw today look everything that we did was was so perfect i watched uh mali against child mali against central african republic and i said that look if if we put our asses together we will go there and go and beat them because i watched them against child i sat 70th minute it was 1-1 Against Central African Republic, they scored first, and Kondobia equalized for Central African Republic. And at this at this stage, if you are playing at home, it's it's better you win. It, there is nothing like draw or something. You need to win. You understand? You are not able to beat Central African Republic. You struggled against Chad, and it is a blaster that you want to beat so that what well, you qualify. No chance. I told you this this Mali side, look. That match that they need to win to take them to the next level, they always flatter to the scene, and that's exactly what happened today. You understand? We should have we should have scored more than more than the, the two goals that we scored. I'm I'm so happy. And look, now it is clear that these are blasters players. The only games they understand is uh, is playing World Cup qualifiers. That is the only game that they understand. So we need to after this one, we need to you know try and. Um, work on them so that they will they will add Afcon to it so that we can we can you know um, do well and win the Afcon. I'm I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And look, I saw certain things that I think that Otuado has really prepared for this Blasters team. He has really prepared for this Blasters team. Some of the decisions that he took in the game and even before the game to 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 decide not to bring his captain on board and in a game taking kudus out and pushing pate from the midfield these are decisions that look if you are not if you are not a coach with balls you 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 will not you will not take so i'm i'm happy that he's doing that jordan are you i'm not surprised that he's playing like that because now there's competition and the atmosphere is that if you don't if you don't do well you will be retired you will retire you there is no chance. We will not. We will not waste time on any any player. We will not waste time on any player. He should carry on, and if if he continues to talk about him, he will get his praises like he is getting. Today, the reverse pass that he gave, gone are the days. He will not pass. He will not even try. It will not even come into, come to his mind that he should pass. But today he passed because now if you if you misbehave, you are out of the team. That is the sort of uh, competition that we want. Pass coaches. Uh, that's the sort of competition that we were we were looking forward uh, to. And now I'm happy that Otuado is bringing it back. He's, he's he has my support from now. So maybe he he tried to you know. So uh, on Monday, on Monday, Central African Republic will put them at their place. To, um, I watched them against Chad. Look, we shouldn't allow anybody to to scare us. They didn't play anything and they were lucky. They were lucky to, to have won that game. Chad had glorious penalty and the referee decided not to, not to award it. They didn't play anything. So we should just, you know, um, finish the game and make sure that uh, we prepare for, for Comoros and, and Mali here so that we qualify. I just checked and my, my, my passport is intact. Definitely we will go to, we will go to US and nothing will stop us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Let's go to Belgium AFTV. After that, we'll go to KTV. So, KTV, just hold on for me. Let Belgium AFTV uh, go on. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk, man. 
Listen, you know what? What can I say? Uh, I tell you what. In the beginning, I was a little bit scared because knowing that Otto just took over and again, to the so many issues. And I think on your space, I was saying, in as much as we've not won a game for such a long time, it doesn't mean that we could just go there and not uh, not being able to get a result. And I'll say congratulations to the Blaster team, to the coaching staff. And you could see, I mean, in fact, that goal that we could see there was a little bit of kind of, uh, uh, I was just like say, scoffing a little bit. But you could see what he was trying to implement and the application, players' application today, it was okay. Uh, I think, uh, I mean, there's so many good stuff that we can pick out. But I'll say to Ghanaians, let's kind of, let's chill. Today, good result. It was a good night for us. But let's be careful because football is not mathematics. And uh, sometimes, you know, that overconfidence. Because what now I like is the fact that now the boys, they know that, listen, we've got something to go for. So every game, we'll take it one at a time. And hopefully, Car Republic, Comoros, will be able to kind of uh, take care of them. You know, but not our uh, fans to start going on. And if things are touch wood, if it doesn't go well, you see them, the same fans will start abusing the players. Hello. So hopefully... Hello. Our overconfident uh, uh, behavior will, come, will, will be a little bit down, so that at least the, that will gain to allow the players to express themselves freely, because uh, they don't want to put that amount of pressure on the players. They don't need it now. What they need is to be focused. And another thing is again to maybe Otto Adoba, because this is his first competitive game since he came back. I want to talk about the consultation because I, uh, second half, I, I was scared, man. Mali had come a couple of chances, you know. It was just like, uh, I don't know, the final said they were not reflex enough, if not, and they were not having anyone in that, if not. Uh, Mali would have been way, way ahead. So hopefully, because it seems that we were switching off, we were switching off, you know, left, in the middle, and uh, I could understand it because uh, uh, this is the first time that they're playing together, you know, they're competitive. So, uh, obviously, they're not used to 